Hartman to pass again. Over the middle and gets it complete to Evans. And Evans has really developed Jordan into a big weapon for the Irish. Hartman three for three to open up this game. To the outside. That ball is intercepted. That was Quincy Riley. Second and goal from the nine. Plummer has to step up in the pocket. To the end zone. He goes. Touchdown cards. Jamari Thrash. Playmaker, we gotta get him touches early. They did. And watch Burnham off the edge. Applies that initial pressure. Great job. Ticket hand and ball forward, stepping up with speed. From their own 15. This is Love, the freshman. Jeremiah Love, and look at him go. He has got extreme talent. Third and five for Hartman. Pressure off the edge as he is ripped down all the way back at the 20 yard line. Again coming in. And now McPherson punting away. Coleman, the return man from the 20. Oh, ball is loose. But he falls right on it. It was headed in the same direction. Second and six. Jordan off left tackle. Here he goes. Pass midfield. Jawar Jordan. Action games in his last 10 games. First down. Play action. Plummer. Pocket collapsing, and he goes down. As Notre Dame's front was able to take him down, and that was for number 25 against the top 10 Irish. Start of the second quarter. Sam Hartman, pressure up the middle, they get to him. Sam Hartman taken down. They do not come with pressure against Plummer, but Plummer cannot escape Leofau. Maris Leofau able to get to Jack Plummer. Second and seven, a gap pressure. Estimate picks it up, lofting it inside the 10, and Faison's got it. Came up with the big catch moments ago, and now the touchdown reception. 36 yards from Hartman. Oh, we've been waiting for it. I want you to watch the eyes of Hartman looking that way gets this safety to fly and then that route coming right over the top Plummer is taken down by Bertrand second sack for the Irish third and one oh the ball's out ball is out and Louisville's got it they fake the pitch tried to go inside counter got a little too cute and the Cardinals get it at your disposal Second down, and Hartman ripped down. That was Riger, who's been dealing with a knee issue. Plummer, eight completions, 57 yards, touchdown pass, as he's going to open up the second half with a completion as he goes to thrash. Ball came out, and the Irish have it. Instead of what could have been a 10-point swing, it's Irish ball. Short pitch, Estime, tackled for a loss. He is brought down by the very active T.J. Quinn. He's hit from 54. And he puts it through. Plummer, looking for an opportunity, and he finds it wide open. For a first down, it's Amari Huggins Bruce. Second and ten. Look at Brom with a man in his face, getting it complete downfield as he connects and is able to get it to Joey Gatewood. Second and four, Jordan. Tackled for a loss. It was Bertrand knifing in. Excellent job by J.D. Bertrand. From 44 to tie the game. That is well struck. Excellent rotation and dead on target line kick. Hartman under center on third and one. Payne. Oh, he stopped in the backfield. Knifing in was Alderman and a tackle for loss from this fiery, pesky Cardinals defense. 
And here they are in a deep battle, just like last week. The jet action goes big for Huggins Bruce. Jawar Jordan hits the hole off right tackle. Jordan, here he goes. This place is going to rock. The kick out right here, and Kariski's going to get the down block to open up this hole. Tight end and fullback working in conjunction there, and a huge hole for Jawar Jordan. You cannot give him that kind of daylight. He will make you pay, as Notre Dame just found out. Well, Jordan's speed is obviously his biggest asset, but he has good vision, too. Brian Brom says if he can get one. And his team has a touchdown lead over Notre Dame, who's playing for college football playoff survival. Price on the return. Price able to keep his balance in a great return by Jadarion Price. Third and 13. Hartman drives that ball complete as Evans is weaving his way. Third and three, nowhere to go for Estime. Brought down immediately by Perrier. They're going to test the leg big time. Schrader. Like that little one on the outside, but great adjustment. Going to keep it on the ground with Jordan inside the 10, into the end zone. Oh, my. He's done it again. transfers but with a superstar running back who went big time again and number 10 Notre Dame is in trouble 45 yard attempt is good the late drama we've had plenty of it in recent weeks with the Irish Hartman intercepted Devin Neal the return. Gilbert Frierson blitzing right here. He's going to get picked up by Audrey Gestime, but it's really the pressure that starts to get in Sam Hartman's face here right there at the end. See how he's throwing it and leaning back a little bit. That causes that ball to sail. Hands up. And just sailed that one a little bit, trying to get Mitchell Evans on an over route. First and goal after the return. As Devin Neal made the most of it. Jordan on the I formation as he was tripped up by Kaiser. He's potentially pushing this lead further. Now they're saying we're going to kick right through it. And they're taking down Hartman again. Fourth sack of the night. That's what they're doing, Jordan Rogers. Hartman on third and 19. Offensive yes. line, especially at tackles with Fisher and Alt. Excellent. And this is what you see again on fourth and seven. It's Riger. He was able to navigate upsets and another one coming here tonight. As Travelstead continues his big night. Hartman able to get it to Jaden Thomas. He showed that explosive speed again. This is the big tight end, Mitchell Evans. Sprint right, pressure Adam, and into the end zone is Mitchell Evans. And as you said, perhaps they should have started going to him a little earlier. He is a great weapon. Sprint out to him. But like you said, it just couldn't find him enough in the first half after having whole team had poise and a little bit of fire in them tonight. Second and eight for Hartman. Look at the traffic as he spins out of it and then gets it downfield. What a strike to Merriweather. 
finds Merriweather. Goes for 17 yards. Ball is up in the air and intercepted, and that's how it's going to end with a second for Devin Neal. But they came here to Derby City, and they got outrun all night long to the finish line, and we got a field stormer here in Louisville. The cards are flying high again. They are 6-0 and just toppled top 10 Notre Dame.